and we can just cut across to Obroy Realty before we get to Abhish uh, Abhijit. We open for question now. Uh, thank you, sir, and uh, good morning to everybody. Uh, just like to thank you firstly for taking out the time and uh, coming to this uh, event for uh, for the announcement of our Q1 FY13 results. Uh, on the numbers front, we have achieved a consolidated revenue of uh, 230.79 crores for this quarter, uh, as against the uh, top line of 215.07 crores for Q1 FY12, uh, a growth of about 7%. The consolidated profit before tax for Q1 FY13 is 137.62 crores uh, as against 137.36 crores for Q1 of FY12. And the consolidated PAC uh, for Q1 FY13 is at about 100.8 crores as against 105.77 crores, which is a decline of about uh, 5%. Uh, just to take you through uh, some of the uh, numbers, our total revenue recognition from our residential properties uh, stands at about 137 crores. The mall uh, and uh, the office rental assets contributed about 31 odd crores to the top line. Uh, the West in Mumbai Garden City, which is the hospitality component, contributed about uh, 22 crores to the top line. The rest of uh, the 38 odd crores is made up uh, from our other income and uh, the project, ma uh, the property management uh, services. Uh, all in all, we sold about uh, 1.25 lakh uh, square feet uh, during this quarter, which had a sale value of about uh, 200 crores. The order book as of uh, 30th June 2012 stands at uh, 1780 crores, uh, sorry, at about 1580 crores uh, versus uh, uh, 1280 crores, which was the position uh, in the same quarter uh, last year. Uh, with this, if the, we leave the floor open to questions, if there are any questions. Why the margins are, uh, if I can say, more or less the same. Uh, if we uh, look at it, uh, there were certain, uh, 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 on the rental assets, our margins remain at about the 95%, 96% uh, gross margins uh, which are there in that asset. In the uh, residential uh, uh, properties, our margins have come down slightly from about 58% uh, to about 55%. This reflects uh, basically on account of two things. One is the sale mix. So different projects have different contributions to uh, you know uh, the margins, and uh, the second impact is on account of certain increases in cost which we budget. So when we increase the budgeted cost, the entire impact of that comes through in the quarter in which uh, the increase happens. So that's where it is. But more or less, it's even steep. But you did increase the prices as well. So did it not mitigate or affect the cost? Well, uh, what happens is uh, you know when we look at a quarter on quarter numbers. Uh, my revenue recognition is for all the sales of the project till date. So it is only over a period that you will be able to, you know, see the impact of uh, uh, the price increase getting reflected. Right. Revenue recognition that you mentioned in Blender, 100% That's 100%. Yes. Yeah, but there, uh, uh, market perception is that you have to sold as much as you have set up in Blender. So how much uh, have you sold in Blender and uh, why has uh, there been a dip in uh, the sales of that industry? Uh, see, uh, uh, sales depends on various factors, market conditions, uh, uh, all of those. So for example, uh, in this particular quarter, uh, we sold about 8 odd apartments uh, in Splendor. Uh, uh, so I wouldn't read uh, too much into what has happened and in any which way in Splendor we have very few apartments left now. You know, so compared to the earlier quarters where there was a lot, lot more choice available to customers, now there is far less choice which is available, so only whichever. All right, so admitting to a slight fall in uh, uh, margins, uh, uh, lower pre-sales, but uh, decent order book, better than what I think the street was expecting, more like 1400 crore. <coughs> he spoke of a 1580 crore uh, order book, so that's a little better than what the street was expecting. All right, let's shift focus to the big boy. As promised, Hindustan, you really were.